Have you seen any good memories lately? I have one for you. Search for Amy Lewis. I'm sure it'll ring a bell or two. Oh. Who the hell is sending me these? Anthony Longmore worked for the T. This is our guy. Another hanging, ruled as a suicide, but I have a feeling it's another murder. I'll have to check on this case later. For now, I'll focus on the Goodman case. Who's sending me these messages? McCoy? Red? Do you have an address? Yeah, heading there now. Coming? Ah, <laughs> no. Too many donuts. You take Sully with you. <laughs> Great. What? He worked on the case. Did he put you up to this? Ain't Cupid a fat ass, too? Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. We'll stop being so good at it. Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today. So I can't even have that small comfort. How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together, go back to the crime scene, pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. I just got a message in my phone pointing me to another victim. Another girl found hanged in her house two years ago. So what's on your mind? I think we're looking at a serial killer. The real question is why would the killer change his patterns all of a sudden? What do you mean? His previous victims passed as suicides. This was an obvious murder. Guy got tired of dancing and wants to get caught? I don't know. This seems too complicated in a way. It seems almost like a game. It's not common, but killers do change M.O. from time to time. Maybe. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. I need you to come with me. Lunch? 
Would you drop it with that damn lunch? We got work to do. I thought you didn't want me to come with you. Well, yeah, I do now. Hurry up before I change my mind. I got the keys from the landlord. Two points for diplomacy. Hey, you know me. I'm a charmer. He mentioned that Longmore was going to move out at the end of the month. What are we looking for? Anything that can tell us why this guy was killed. Found something? Maybe. Let me get down there for you. <laughs> Always a gentleman. All right, give me some time to go through this. Fingerprint bypass? <laughs> what do I do now? Okay, let's try this. There we go. Who the hell is sending me these? This guy again. Who the hell is he? Samuel Sewell was one of six judges that sentenced 19 men and women in the Salem Witch Trials in Salem, Massachusetts. Of all the judges, he was the only one who later repented, taking all of the blame and shame for the sins he had committed by sentencing the innocent people to death by hanging. The case of Judge Sewell provides a very interesting view on how the power of governmental agencies can, if abused, act against the same people who elected them and whom they are sworn to protect. Had Samuel Sewell and his fellow judges investigated the cases further, and not opted for superstitious view, the whole tragedy could have been averted. A memory card? Okay. No, that's not right. These look like pieces of the same picture. 
Who is this person? What is all that? Let's look at it. This file has info on three different women, all from Memphis. And things in here. A candy wrapper, a few long strands of hair, a long handwritten dialogue between one of the women and someone else. The women's names are Carolyn Palmer, Mega Martha, and Beth Williams. This is our guy, Longmore. So he's kept a file on himself? Let's see. Looks like he worked in public transportation in New York and Memphis. He was charting his weight every few days. He has a detailed account list of all the movies he's seen this year, and women he noticed while in the theater. There are three women profiled in this folder, all from New York. It's full of little notes, shopping habits, places where they ate, clothes they wore most frequently. The three women's names are Janelle Katona, Emily Carlson, and Nadia Schwartz. I'll look at those other cases in more detail later. I want to focus on the case at hand, and I think I have all the info I need with the Boston profiles. Damn it, this was right under my nose. Sarah Goodman, Amy Lewis, and Elizabeth Bauer. I know Sarah and Amy, so does that mean that Elizabeth was already... Ugh, damn it! She was before Sarah. There are notes in here on them, tons of details. Today I brushed up so close I was able to smell her. What? What is this? Elizabeth. It looks like Longmore had a pretty detailed fantasy life with you. Lots of notes on it. He knew where you lived, too. Hmm. 730 Joy Street. Looks like he tracked you for some time, Amy. Address is at 1170 Melrose. This is the one that's not a surprise. Sarah. Murdered in her house at 514 Chestnut Street. Ah. Oh. Maybe I'm just exhausted right now, but sometimes this shit gets to me. You got it. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I need you to look a few things over for me. Yeah, I have a couple of names for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, okay, the first one. Okay, we got some info here. These women were all suicides, except for Emily Carlson in New York. They never caught the killer, but it was an obvious murder. The third woman in New York, Nadia Schwartz, hasn't been reported as missing or dead. Sully, Anthony Longmore was a killer. You think? What's our evidence? Those women from the safe are his victims. He took those photographs. And he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. He was in Tennessee first, and then in New York. He killed these women, and he had a pattern. He kills in groups of three. How do you know? Two reasons. 
He was moving out soon. And... He's killed three victims in every state except for New York. Look at the boxes. You mentioned the landlord said he was moving out. He was done here, ready to go on to the next city. He killed in threes all the time. But what happened in New York? Why is Nadia Schwartz still alive? Because of Emily Carlson's case. They almost caught him. He fled New York before his work was done there, and he could never get to Nadia Schwartz. It's clear, even the way he met his victims. How? He met them through public transportation. He worked there. That's where he targeted his victims. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? Good question. And why did they send clues to Davies? And to me? <sighs> this is a hell of a mind screw. We gotta keep looking. It's a bunch of tools. Lots of rope. And get this, even some nooses. I also found this. Hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Good job, Sully. I got it. It's all together now. There are some letter sliders here. There's a question. Who repented? I can't move him. What am I missing? Hmm, a keyhole. There we go. I should be able to move the letters now. Creepy. Huh. What's this? It's a memory card. Let's see what happens. Ugh, what game do you want me to play now?
Hey, isn't that... You got it. The Old South Meeting House? Yeah, what's that got to do with anything? Sully, look at this. Over three centuries ago, Samuel Sewell repented in the Old South Meeting House for atrocities he once helped along. Tonight, someone new will take the blame and shame. There's something loading. As long as it's not a bomb. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> Drop it, you ass. We make a good team, don't we? Shit! Sully, it's Davies! She's a target! What the fuck? How do you know? I, I got Trust me on this. We gotta get to the meeting house now. Move it. We're pulling in right now. Erica, wait for backup. John, Davies could be in there. Did you try her phone? She's not picking it up. No one's heard from her all day. Get your ass here quick. We're pulling in. I'm on my way. What's the plan? Check out the bell tower out front. I'll head into the main building hall from the side door. Be careful. You too. There, that should do it. Let's try this. should make things a little more even. Stay undercover. He's got a better vantage point. He'll see me. There it is. There it is. 